Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? Uh, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, today I wanted to demonstrate how I made this little guitar tuning video, uh, which is basically a virtual guitar on the sc screen, and the, um, the strings vibrate uh, based on the audio track. And uh, let's give you an example of what it looks like as a finished product. So as you can see, the strings vibrate uh, with each note and then they kind of taper off uh, as the uh, amplitude of the audio gets lower. And uh, I had to do one of these for each string, so uh, there's going to be some expressions in there that are slightly different uh, for each string. So let's get into it. Uh, basically, uh, this is pretty complex. I'm going to go through a simple uh, tutorial through a new comp, so let's go ahead and create a new composition and you can set this to whatever you like. I've got it set to 720p. And on your new composition you want to put a new solid layer. We're just going to go ahead and make a white solid. <clears throat> and then you want to take the, uh, the solid and make it very thin. Because we are going to make that our guitar string. Once we have that thin layer. Uh, let's drag in our audio track. So we're going to use that uh, in order to make the string vibrate. Now in order to use that audio track uh, you need to uh, set some keyframes. So we're going to use the keyframe assistant. And we're going to convert the audio to keyframes. So with those keyframes we need a couple of controls. So we want to go into the white solid and set a slider effect control on the solid and also the Bezier warp tool. Like so. Now uh, under the effects menu we're going to set up an expression on the slider. Now this is the part that took me a while to figure out uh, and I had uh, six strings to work with and I wanted them to start and stop at different times. So uh, there's an expression here with an if statement and I'll paste that in right now. And depending on what you're doing you may not need uh, this if statement. Um, but basically it says here if the time is greater than 2, so it starts at 2 seconds, and the time is less than 22, and it ends at the 22 second mark, uh, then set the amplitude based on this layer. So it's going to look at the comp, and in the layer audio amplitude, which we created using the uh, keyframe assistant, and I'll show you the uh, keyframes right here. So it's the keyframes. Uh, they're basically going to be the same for both channels and the left channel, but we're going to use both channels right now. And you can see the var variables um, on the slider changing as I scrub across. So we're going to use those values here in our expression, and it basically says um, on that effect of both channels multiplied by the slider, or actually use the slider times 50, set the frequency at 100, and you can experiment with whether or not that frequency is going to be right for you. Uh, and then we've got some other math down here at the bottom that I won't really explain in depth. Um, but you could also get by with deleting this bottom part and this top part if you want the string to uh, vibrate the whole time based on the audio and not start and stop like I needed it to. Uh, we also need to set some effects here uh, using the Bezier warp. Uh, we want to change uh, the, let's see here, the top left tangent, the top right tangent, the bottom right tangent, and the bottom left tangent. And the uh, expression that you want there, let me paste that in. So let's start with top left tangent, add expression. So you want this same line, uh, value plus uh, brace two effect slider, blah, blah, blah. You can read it on the screen. Uh, you want to do that for each of these. So you want the top left 
top right. Let me paste that into the top right as well. You want the bottom right. And this is basically uh, controlling the corners, I believe. Bottom left tangent. And I'll uh, put these in the information box so you can copy and paste them in as well. Now that we have that in place, uh, if you look at my audio waveform, you'll see that each of these <clears throat> will start off kind of heavy and then taper off for each note. And this is basically just playing the strings open um, to get the tuning. And it should work as we scrub through. You can see it kind of vibrating there. Let's do a little playback real quick. And it should jump up and down each time. Boing. There you go. And we're waiting for it. And it should go now. Boing. So there you go. And uh, that is basically how you vibrate a string. Uh, or a, a solid in this case uh, that looks like a string um, using an audio clip. Uh, I hope this tutorial was useful and you can find a use for it in your projects. Um, again, if you need to tweak any of those variables in the expressions, you can do that to give you, you know, uh, a variety of results. So if you need to change some of these values, say uh, change it to 10 or whatever you need to do. So yeah, if you need to change some of these values to suit your project, you can do so. And we can get a variety of different results just, uh, just by changing the variables in these expressions. So let's see what we have here. This should jump up and down a lot more. No? All right, well, let's change this to, say, 500 instead of 50. Ah, oh, there we go. So, yeah, play around with the variables, uh, see what you can come up with, and uh, have fun. And, again, thanks for watching.